Hey guys, how you going? Freezing, hey? Absolutely freezing today. Anyway, today, as promised, we're going to look at the word crook. There are four main uses of the word crook. Um, yeah, four ones that we use commonly. There may be others, but I wouldn't worry about them too much. This is enough for now. So the first one, crook. I'm crook, I'm sick. I'm as crook as a dog. I feel crook in the guts. Oh, my guts, in stomach. I feel crook in the guts, yeah? You can also say, I'm feeling crook, yeah? My wife's crook, the kids are crook, everyone's crook. Um, I've just written some notes, I'll just check I've got them all here. Oh, you can ask a question, yeah. Um, are you feeling crook? Sick, are you feeling sick? Um, uh, have you been crook? Where have you been, have you been crook? Yeah, so. Anyway, that's the first one. And I've written some notes for you to look underneath the video. There's, um, there's a comprehensive lot of notes. Um, so you can check up on that as well. Okay, the second meaning is um, for a part of your body to not be working well. So for example, you can say, I've got a crook back, which means I've got a bad back, yeah? Or I've got a crook knee. It's not good, it hurts in the cold. Maybe like today it's freezing. Maybe your knee plays up in the cold, which means it plays up, it means it um, doesn't work well, yeah? Maybe you've got arthritis or something. Um, yeah, so let me just check. Oh, other words you can use instead of crook here, uh, words like dodgy, which means not good, and we'll look at this in another lesson, but you can say I've got a dodgy knee, or a dodgy back, yeah, or a dodgy ticker. Ticker, T-I-C-K-E-R, means heart. I've got a dodgy ticker, I mean, I've got a bad heart, I've got to be careful. Um, yeah, or bung, very Aussie word, bung, B-U-N-G. I've got a bung knee, I've got a bung leg, yeah? Um, yeah, I've got some sentences here. For example, she's got a crook back, she shouldn't be lifting anything heavy. Okay, so that's the second meaning um, for your body part to not be working well. The third meaning can mean, and this is not slang, this is just an, a word, um, uses a noun, like he's a crook, um, like a criminal, an untrustworthy person, you wouldn't trust them, yeah? So be careful, that guy, he's a crook. Small time crook, for example, someone who's like, does, um, yeah, small crimes, like stealing and car theft, they're a small time crook. Big, big time crook, you know, like mafia type, type people, um, yeah, really, really bad dudes. Anyway, um, so yeah, for example, um, she was a crook, past tense, she was a crook, but she's changed now. And, ah, as an adjective, you can actually use it as an adjective, that, um, for example, he's crooked, which means he's, he's not honest, yeah? If you're straight, actually, then th this means that you are, um, that you're not dishonest. There's another meaning too, but we won't go into that now. Okay, um, the fourth meaning I've got here, um, this is very Aussie again, and not, not, not as common as the others, but still used a lot in Australia. If somebody goes crook on you, they get angry with you. So for example, my mum went crook on me last night. My mum went crook on me last night because I hadn't done my homework, yeah? or I'll get crook of you, on you if you, um, yeah, if you don't clean up your mess. So you can say on you, with you, um, often, more often on you, I'll, I'll get crook on you. It sounds quite strange, but it's just an expression that means angry. So yeah, you can say dad went crook on me because I smashed his car, which my dad actually did go crook on me, and fair enough, I, I smashed two of his cars and blew up another motor, so he went crook on me and I, I probably deserve that. Sorry, Dad. Um, yeah, all's, that was a long time ago. All's forgiven now. Um, there is another meaning. Um, actually, I'll just give you the question for that. Did your parents go crook on you for getting home so late last night? That's another way of saying getting angry with you. But there is another uh, word, crooked, which means not straight, yeah? So, for example, here, I've, you can see here, I've drawn a crooked line, it's not straight, and underneath, a straight line, okay? So that's a different meaning, 
Yeah, although in some ways it's similar, isn't it? You could have your hat on crooked. Here it's on straight. Hey man, you recognize that? Or it can go on crooked. Yeah, maybe your collar's crooked. Your shirt's all crooked. Um, or a picture. The picture's straight here now. Let's put it a bit closer for you. It's straight. Now it's crooked. You say you need to straighten up. It's crooked. Now it's straight. Crooked, straight. Okay. Um, that's it for today. I hope you learn a lot. It's it's uh, a well used word and uh, worth learning all of all of those meanings because we do use it in many different ways. Okay. I think next time we'll have a look at the word dodgy. Um, to help you out with some more Aussie slang. This is Mark from Mark's English Lessons. It's Aussie slang. Um, thank you guys for all the likes and the subscriptions and for supporting me and I'll continue to support you. Okay, have a great day. Keep warm, rug up. Rug up, R-U-G, means to keep warm, yeah? You wear a hat, scarf, beanie, well hat and, be hat and beanie, same thing but keep warm, wear a nice big jumper and a jacket. Okay, take care, I'll see you soon, bye.